Yesterday, I was talking to a woman who had broken up with sugar, I don't know, maybe a year ago or so. And she was like, I'm still so scared of food. Like my family's eating food and I'm just so scared of it. And like she was talking about like the mac and cheese on the table or like the cookies that she sends to her or that she gives to her kids. And I had such a reaction to it. And frankly, <laughs> I had a reaction with her to it. Like, no, 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 no. Like we have empowered food so much. And worse than that, we've like demonized binging. Here's what I mean by that. Like, can we worst case scenario something? And this is what I said to her. Like I said, listen, what's the worst case that happens? Like what's the worst that happens if you like attack that mac and cheese? She's like, well, then I'm just going to be eating forever and ever and ever. I'm like, I don't buy it. The story we tell about the food and the story we tell about the binging gives the food and the binging so much power. And frankly, if you're someone who needs to break up with sugar or wants to break up with sugar or wants to heal their relationship with food, these are the stories that are actually preventing you from doing it. And worse than that, these are the stories that are preventing you from freedom. It's like, there's always going to be a noose around your neck. If you're freeing yourself from a food addiction, you're moving into a fear of like binging and that taking your life over. And we have to stop. We have to stop it right now. Because if we worst case scenario, this whole thing, here's the worst that happens. You eat the mac and cheese, you binge on the mac and cheese. Eventually it ends. Remember, you can be doing something at three o'clock in the afternoon and doing to something totally different at 3.02. But the other thing that I always love about miss eating episodes, binging episodes, call it what you want, is that there's so much information in there, right? And if we take a compassionate and curious stance on it, it's like, we learn things, we learn things. And this is why I love like biodiversity and all of it, that even if you've broken up with sugar, you wanna try to eat something, try it. It's a data point, it's not a death sentence. So let's stop demonizing binging. I think we're missing a lot of information there.